good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. It's Tracy. All right, the workout today, total body mad dash, so just 30 minutes. Great for a busy morning. Your format, 30 seconds of work with 10 seconds in between. We'll repeat each exercise for three rounds. That's your progressive overload, and then you won't see it again. I'll start with a warm up and we'll end with a cool down. And if you like the 30 minute workouts, I've got a full playlist, lots of workouts there. Click the card at the top of the screen and download one for another time this week. All right, let's do it. Let's move daily. Strength is on my watch here today. Let's warm up here, reach across. We'll just get the body nice and warm, ready to lift. Again, great workout. If you're like, I gotta do something, I wanna move my body, I gotta lift weights so that I don't lose muscle as I age, reach up and over here, which we all are, sarcopenia. Look it up. <laughs> anyway, I don't wanna lose muscle, so. I'm doing this daily. We're gonna get puffed a little bit, increase our blood flow. Mm. Yeah, feeling really good. All right, circles right here. Good, switch directions. And let's take it wide. We're gonna just lunge side to side, drop your shoulder toward your knee. Good stretch of that inner thigh there. Two more. Good, I'm gonna take it even lower. You can stay up there if you can't get down this low, but we're just gonna lengthen in through that calf a little into your Achilles. Waking up those muscles. Are you a morning exerciser? Is this like first thing for you? It's about nine for me, so I've been up for a bit, but I haven't done anything yet. All right, let's sweep, alternating sides. overhead here, swing those arms, reach your hips back. Good, last five, and then we're gonna get this thing started here. And right there. Okay, here's your first three exercises. I've got my eights, reverse lunge, hammer curl press, alternating legs, you're gonna curl at the top, then press, shoulders back, here we go. Get back, curl, press, switch legs. Back and press. Good. Bring that, uh, drop that back knee nice and low so you're tall. switch weights at this point if you're like, oh, that was too late. Feel free to do that as we go through. Here we go. Reverse, curl, press and switch. to the bottom, take it low, curl, and 
press. Switching to my fives, lateral raise, squat, front, and stand, feet shoulder width, and over here, squat, front, then stand. Stick your chest out of the bottom. As you go down here, you might need to lighten to threes or twos. Alright. Round two. <clears throat> there we go. Squat, front, stand, chest is out. plie tricep press. Everything's up. Everything's down. Feet are wide. Starting here. Drop it low. Press it high and flex. Shoulders back. Definitely feeling those medial delts right now. Round two, everything is low. And press. your hair. I'm going to grab a 10 for my front lunge front press. It's a little bit lighter. Every time you're down, shoulders back and lunge, press, switch sides. Shoulders low away from your ears on the press. Good. If it bothers your knees, you're just standing tall for your front press. Okay. All 
right, round two. Little sip. There we go. Compound exercises definitely get the heart rate up, don't they? Woohoo! I love it. No cardio and a popped. Round three. Eight for that squat thrust with a twist. Okay. Feet slightly wider than shoulder width, hands on your shoulders. Twist and press. Drop it low. Turn, now switch sides. And press, good. Reach your hips back. I'm trying to get ass to grass there. My elbows are down toward my knees and touching them if you can with the tall back. Whew. Good, all right, round two coming up. And drop, twist and press and switch. One more. Can't stand it with this crooked. <laughs> All right. Drop it low. Press core engage. Now that sumo squat pulse bicep curl is really challenging. I don't have three, so I'm gonna use fives, but I'll be dying, just so you know. Go lighter if you have them. All right, wide stance on the legs, pulsing and alternating curl, feet face the front, and pulse in. Shoulders low, do not shrug here. Little pulse. If it gets too challenging, do a hammer curl. It's slightly easier than a bicep. See, I told you. <laughs> All right. Round two, wide stance, drop it low. Bent, keep them locked in neutral. Okay, let's work. One more round, then we're taking it to the ground. I'm gonna give you a 20 second break if you need it. If not, keep doing this action.
lower. Let's go. Yeah, it's killer, I know. Last five seconds. All right, 20 second break or make your way to the ground. We're starting off with a chest flight flutter kick. So legs are here, arms are gonna be rounded and fly right here. I've got 12s. All right, rounded arms like you're hugging a tree. Ready, push your back into the ground. Three rounds and open, close and squeeze at the top. Take your time here. You're here for a minute and a half, right? So, no need to rush. All right, rest. Hiya. Let's <laughs> get some heart rate up, I tell ya. Round two, and open, open, and squeeze. Anyone else have a hip that's popping? Yeah, me too. I find that if I do some hip opening exercises before working out, that helps to alleviate that. Didn't really do that today. Last one, and. Down here for that dolphin plank next. All right, set the weights down. Forearm plank. Hips are gonna come up, and then you're gonna come down into that hover position. All right, here we go. Reach it up. Come to hover. Up, up. Modify this with a plank from the knees if you need. You'll just be holding it for 30 seconds then. Reach those hips, let's go. Pull it down. All right, there's your stretch. Oh yeah, lengthening through that lower back for me. Round two, here we go. Reach it up, come down. When you come down to that low position, drive the knees towards the elbows, elbows towards the toes, hold for a second. Okay, pull together. And pull. Try not to let your arm migrate back. 
When you're hitting the tricep part, keep your shoulders still. Very good. All right. Round two coming up. Something in my eye. Up. Ready? Here we go. Press it up and back. Everything's up, everything's down. Up and back.
All right, get that ski again. Grabbing my 10 for my side lunge. All right, actually 12, sorry. Side lunge press, same side for 30, then switch and split on the last. Here we go. Lunge it low, press it here. Stay here. your hip back. Right there. Last. Okay, take a step over. Switch your hands. And now lunge the other way. All right, reach. Shift in the center there. Shoulders back, flat back. Exercise ring closed. Switch sides, step and lunge. I'm gonna grab my other 12, so my row hammer combo. Okay. Hinge at the waist, hammer at the top, and here, stand, hammer curl, elbows in. Hinge, row, stand, curl. Sweaty, <laughs> definitely sweaty. Here we go. here. I'm grabbing 15s. It's a suitcase squat with a reverse deadlift. Here we go. Squat low. Hips are up. Stand. So dumbbells at the side. Front. Stand. Here. Up. I'll show you a side view. Suitcase squat. 
here, stand back is flat. Reach. All right, round two. Those are heavy and sweaty hands. Pick them up. Ready, here we go. Squat, reach, stand. One more, everyone. Woo. You can always repeat this for a full hour workout. Do half of it for 45 minutes. This has been good. Here we go. Here. Up. Stand. Last 10 seconds. Last four, three, two, one and done. Yeah, have moved daily in your 30 minute compound workout. Thanks for joining, join for a stretch if you can. All right, great little workout. Let's do a standing stretch today. I'm gonna to start with a quad stretch. Knees together, push your hips forward, just lengthen in through that quad. I like those little combinations like that, but honestly, you could double that. And that would be a great workout. You'd burn over 500 calories for sure. Switch sides. Um, I love the strength in the compound component. Keeps it fresh and interesting. A little tricky sometimes when you're tapping your head and rubbing your stomach at the same time, but it's it's great for multi-muscle, multi-joint, bang for your buck. I know not everyone loves it, but let's go heel up, hinge forward. Uh, but when you're short on time, it's it's great for that, isn't it? I do like it. Oh yeah, stretchy stretch. That feels amazing. And switch sides here. Heel up, knee is soft. Hinge right there. How's your nutrition going? Are you like killing it with the workouts then you get to the kitchen and then you're <laughs> throwing the baby out with the bath water? Do you do that? Well, it's common. That's what a lot of people come to me saying that they've done that. I'm just gonna do a chest stretch right here. It's tough, that, let, let's just put it that way. There's a lot of ways to go about approaching nutrition. Um, I think it's important to switch sides to get a foundation and educate yourself about all things nutrition. And maybe you're like, well, I don't have a lot of time. Well, there's lots of things that you can do while you're getting ready. You could listen to nutrition podcasts, right? You could, on your commute, listen to a podcast or a talk. Um, tune into our channel and listen to you know me talk about nutrition periodically our membership we coach about it all the time but i know a lot of people just want like a diet just give me a plan i'll follow the plan i'll lose weight and then i'll be good the problem with that is that if you're not sort of understanding the mechanism of nutrition i think you just follow a plan until you're tired of it and then you go back to the same way of eating hands behind the back stretch the goal in my opinion is to shift your thinking to become people like us to do things like this forever and ever, amen. And if that's the case, if you're like, okay, now my goal is healthy eating, honoring my body with the foods that I put in it, then you're, never, you're not gonna have to go on a diet, right? You're just gonna choose things that help you meet your end goal of honoring the body and feeling your best. Um, but I know a lot of people like to just follow a plan, and so it's tricky. I don't offer that in my membership, and um, some people are like, that's all I wanted. I'm like, well, good luck <laughs> going to the next diet then, because that's what it's going to be, from diet to diet to diet to diet. But if, again, you learn the mechanism behind diets, if you learn this, the tools that each sort of eating strategy can teach you, you can take those things and change your life and your health and your weight for good. That's what I think. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. If you want to work out for tomorrow, click or tap here or here. I'll see you in the next workout.